Welcome to GP Sports. In today's video, we're going to show you how to create your player profiles. To do that, you go under the Finder menu in the top left hand corner and select Players. The reason why we want to create player profiles is because your session files can then easily be associated with the correct player. And then it's easy to apply consistent information to analyze your session data. So to create a player, it's quite a simple process. You select Insert Player and you can see a new row has appeared here. I then fill in the data. My preferred name is really important because your preferred name should match the unit name and then this then means that when you download your data from the unit, it automatically is assigned to this player. So make sure your preferred name matches the unit name. I then continue through the process, create, creating a player profile, date of birth you can change. Now position is important as well because position can be used for filtering of your reports. Generally, we recommend that you use only four positions in a team. So it might be your forwards, your backs, your midfielders, uh, goalkeepers, or whatever the case may be, depending on your sport. Another important thing to uh, include is your weight. So your weight is important because this is used in your metabolic load calculation. You must put in your maximum heart rate for that player because this is used, especially when you're calculating relative heart rate data. You also include your max speed. Again, especially important if you are reporting on your relative speed data. Squad is also important because this is another filtering tool you can use. Uh, so you may have your senior squad and your reserve squad, so you assign the player to a squad. Moving, th moving along, very important that you get this default zone setting correct because this is the analysis zone that will be assigned to that player. As you can see in my example, the default zone setting is by IQ Absolute. You can change that by selecting on the drop down menu and choose from any of the default zones that you have set up. And in my case, I may assign this player to, the, to my rugby league zone. The last two options you have to change are your collision threshold and your sprint threshold. You can change your collision threshold depending on the weight of the athlete and the sprint threshold. Generally, we recommend you to leave that to the default setting. Once you are happy with the settings you've, you've given for your player, simply select Save Changes and that player is now added to your team player profile. 